Hey, good morning, team. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's doing well today. Um, today is day two of, uh, you know, the Jones Chronicles of uh, just showing love to our teachers out there, uh, and specifically to my teachers at Dell Valley Middle School. Uh, and today, what I wanted to talk about was um, math. <laughs> so I talked about English yesterday. One of my favorite English teachers talked about talk about math uh, today. Uh, math was not my favorite subject in school. Uh, hands down, I disliked math all the way around from algebra to geometry. Even when I got to college, I just couldn't stand it. I hated it, right? There's, I had two teachers, I say one, but I had two teachers um, who were really, really awesome, awesome math teachers. And they really took the time to work with me. And matter of fact, one of them really took the time to humble me. Um, during this during my process when I was in school um, and so I'm gonna talk about um, the first teacher I'm gonna talk about is Mr. Beverly. Mr. Beverly was a good dude. Uh, he was a former football coach there at Lanier High School. Um, Mr. Beverly had coached a couple of years before and then he had got you know done with coaching you know he just wanted to teach and so I had Mr. Beverly for geometry and man God bless him. Uh, Mr. Beverly had to deal with a knucklehead like me along with a couple other knuckleheads in the classroom, but he knew how to get through to me um, And he knew you know just what to say to me in class and he just knew how to deal with me And one thing I loved about Mr. Beverly was he was such a kind man. He didn't raise his voice a lot. He wasn't gonna raise his voice um, He always had a smile on his face um, But he was always willing to give you that curve um, on those tests that, that you needed, you know, to score some points on. It was always a curve. It was always, all right, there's a seven-point curve or there's an eight-point curve. Or, you know, it was always something. And Mr. Beverly just, you know, his compassion and his love for, 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 for geometry, um, it was something that really helped me out. Uh, it helped me to like it a little bit more. I still didn't love it, but it helped me to like it a little bit more. So uh, that was the, the deal with Mr. Beverly. Uh, I think, I think the, but the biggest thing, though, uh, teacher uh, in math that really, really helped me out was Coach Ward. Uh, Coach Ward, I met Coach Ward my freshman year uh, at Lanier High School. It's where I attended before I transferred over to Reagan. Uh, and Coach Ward was, was, I mean, as tough as they come. Uh, it was funny because me and his nephew um, had actually played Little League football together and baseball and things like that. They grew up together, and, and it was crazy because I had never met him until I got to high school, and he was my coach my freshman year. Um, coach Ward was awesome. Uh, he was from the East Coast, so, you know, he was a tough guy, had a you know, hardcore East Coast accent, but good, good dude. And um, I had Coach Ward for algebra one. And, you know, me coming in, 14 years old, freshman football player. You know, you hear the rumors about having coaches as your teachers, and you're thinking, oh, yeah, I'm going to be all right. I'm going to be able to skate by, and everything is going to be okay. Not in Coach Ward class. It wasn't going to happen. Not happening. He wasn't giving out nothing. That was one thing about him. He wasn't giving out nothing. And I'll never forget one day we were working on um, we were working on an assignment. This, this is when I knew um, – how much he cared about me overall as a as not, not not just as a football player but just as a person i was in coach ward's class and you know i'm doing the work but i'm not doing the work i'm doing just enough to get by and of course he recognizes this and we had a test and i knew this test was going to determine whether or not i passed for the six weeks you know, it was going to determine some things, right? Because I knew if I didn't pass, I was done playing football because my mom was like, if you don't pass, there is no coming back in three weeks. You're done, right? <clears throat> so um, I get in Coach Ward's class. I, I take the test. I made, I think, like a 60-something on it. And so basically, I mean, I failed the test. Um, and I just remember Coach Ward, I was like, I'm thinking that, I'm like, oh, yeah, he'll give me a few points. He'll bump me up, right? He was like, no, I'm not giving you no points. And I was like, what? What you mean you're not going to give me no points? I'm like, coach, if you don't give me the points, I'm going to fail, man. I ain't going to be able to play. Like, what you mean? He was like, so? He was like, I don't care if you can't play. He was like, I'm not going to let you get in my classroom and think just because you're a football player that I'm going to let you skate by. 
These are his exact words. I'll never forget it. And I remember I was in the hallway, and he said, uh, you know, this is not, you know, there are no freebies here, Daryl. He said, you think it was going to be free? Did you think I was just going to give you something because I was your coach? And I had to look at him like I had, I was like stunned, like, like what you mean? Like I, I, I'm one of your favorite players. Like I'm one of the best players on the team. Like you just gonna let you gonna leave me hanging? And he basically told me he was like, "No, you left yourself hanging when you thought you were gonna come in here and skate by." And needless to say, that moment um, it really woke me up. Uh, I ended up having to do a whole whole lot to get that grade up because I knew I couldn't fail. Um, cause I knew my mom wasn't going to let me play no more sports the rest of the year, number one. But number two, he knew I could do better. And till this day, I still remember that. Um, did I end up passing the class? Yes. Was there a lot of extra stuff involved um, after school, after practice that I had to do? Yeah. <laughs> it was a whole lot. Let's just say. Um, I would, I never put myself in a situation like that ever, ever again, academically. Um, cause I didn't want to have to deal with the consequences of that, not only in the classroom, but then outside of the classroom on the field, it wasn't fun. Um, but it taught me a valuable lesson about hard work. It taught me a valuable lesson, um, uh, about, you know, not trying to cheat the system. It taught me a valuable lesson about when you have people that are in your corner that are trying to help you take full advantage of it. Right. Stop trying to skate by. And so um, he, 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 he means the world to me. Coach, Coach Ward really, really, he taught, like I said, he taught me a valuable, valuable lesson. Now, I had other valuable lessons taught to me by other coaches, but he taught me a very valuable lesson um, during that school year. And I'm very, I am forever thankful to him. Uh, just like I'm forever thankful uh, to you guys, our math department at DVMS. Thank you so much to all our math teachers at DVMS. Thank you for all the work you put in. Thank you for all the times. Um, thank you for all the continued hard work, all the tutoring sessions. Um, all you guys, thank you so much. Uh, it is very, very appreciative. Um, a lot of you guys uh, remind me of Coach Ward in a lot of different ways. Um, and you guys resemble and of, 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 of the person uh, he was to me uh, in the classroom. And so I want to say thank you guys so much for that. Um, keep rocking, keep doing what you're doing, uh, DVMS. Again, happy Teacher Appreciation Week. Love each and every one of you. Uh, but math department, this goes out to you this morning. Thank you so much. Um, continue rocking and rolling, man. And remember to be on a mission for success. Over and out.